My second person who I love to this day, man, is George Iceman Gervin. And you know what made him so crafty was Gervin, here I was, 6'7", I weighed probably about 175 pounds when I played. Gervin was 6'7", six, 6'8", six, six, 174 pounds, built identically to me. Long and long that's long. what made it hard to guard him because when I was able to slither around the people setting picks and move, Gerfer was able to get between both of us, you know, not myself and that. Uh, George has scored. The one thing I, I loved about his game is that you try to get people, angles are very important in the NBA. And when I'm trying to guard somebody, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the best angle so I can block your shot, but the angle to move you away so you couldn't uh, use the backboard or put you in a difficult position to where you couldn't see the basket. Gervin loved that. I've never seen anybody that can shoot the ball off the backboard at different angles than anybody in this game. George Gervin was the best. Uh, a guy that just slithered and just, his game was so relaxing, and you could say that. He played and he just kind of like, Iceman, that's a great, great name for him because he had ice in his veins. He didn't give, he didn't give a fuck what point in time in the game, what the score was. I'm going to score because that's what I do best. George Gervin, uh, had a real weird sense of humor, you know. And one day, you know, he he would score on you, and he'd laugh when you're going down the court. And he said, uh, he would tell me, "Hey, Coop, that's a good try, man. You almost got that." <laughs> and then laugh at you about it. Okay, yeah. hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. you get the next one. And he's gonna score again. So Gervin had a great sense of humor. Loved playing against him. Probably one of the most competitive guys. Uh, he was on that on that team when they they got Artis Gilmore. Mm -hmm. And Antonio finally got Artis Gilmore, and they told us, uh, oh, we're going to ride the A train. We're going to ride the A train all the way to the championship. Well, the A train got derailed when it was coming out west and through the west. And, but you know what? George Gervin never got derailed. He, always, he, he did his part. CLNS History is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network.